Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and today I have the Kofiza Latiso coffee making machine with me. So let's test this thing out and see how it goes. Before getting to the video, if you want to find the best deals on this machine, you can head to the first link down below in the description. Getting that out of the way, recently Coffeeza reached out to me and said if I want to try their new Latiso coffee machine. And for my love of coffee, I was like, hell yeah, send it over. So they sent me their Latiso coffee machine, which is the one that has an attached milk frother. They also have a Fanero coffee machine without the milk frother. So if you are only into black coffee, then you should see that one. Along with the machine, they also sent their coffee capsules, which go into the coffee machine. These capsules have roasted ground coffee and have the exact quantity of coffee grounds to brew one cup of coffee. Now, I want to be clear that they only sent the machine for the review and they are not paying me to say any of this. So these are my own thoughts after using it for a few weeks. So first of all, let's unbox this and see all the contents and then we will talk further about this. So here is the shipping package from Kofiza which has the Latiso machine. Now for this unboxing my table is a little short so please bear with me guys. Anyways let me grab my knife and open this up for you. And bam! Here it is the retail packaging itself. It says Kofiza here Latiso. And here is the machine itself, how it is supposed to look. And moving to the side, we can see some of the specification like auto standby minutes, that is four minutes, 40 seconds warm up time, 0.65 liter capacity, 4 kg weight and 220 to 240 volts of input. Moving to the other side, we have some more details, but I'm really excited to check this out. So we are going to skip this. So let's do this. First of all, we get the user manual on how to use this. But as you know, we are pro at this business. So we don't need this, I guess. Now, I think the only thing down there is the machine itself. Oh, some extra samples to try. Nice. And last but not the least, we have the machine itself. Let's take it out. Let's remove this plastic sheet. Now it's good. It's looking very nice. We have a water tank at the back and milk frother on the side. And that was it for the unboxing. And now let's test this thing out and see how it goes. So starting with the design, first of all, I want to say that the machine is very compact and lightweight. I mean, you can easily place it anywhere in the kitchen or even on any side table. I have to say that the machine is quite convenient to use. We have a water tank on the back where you fill the water and on the right we have milk frother jug. On the front we have the dispensing area with removable compartments so that you can wash these things. Now as for the capsules, these go right up there. All you have to do is lift up this lever, drop the capsule and close the lever. And after you have done that, use the front buttons to choose from five brewing options like espresso, lungo and the milk frothing options that is the cappuccino, latte and cold milk froth for the cold beverages. Then you have to add the milk quantity according to the type of beverage you want to make. There are markings on the jug for the cappuccino latte and for the cold froth. Now I think I don't like these buttons here as they are not feather touch buttons, but these are actual buttons. So if these have been like feather touch buttons, then it would be great to see, but not a deal breaker. Now, once you have coffee brewed, the next time you will lift up the lever, it will drop the previous capsule into the compartment here. So overall, I think it's well thought out. And as far as the build quality goes, this is decent one. This is only designed for homes and small offices. So these are not like tank solid, but this is going to be on the countertop. So there is no way that you are going to drop this thing. As mentioned earlier, with this machine, you can make variety of coffee beverages. The basic espresso and lungo shorts, along with the various milk frothing options like cappuccino, latte or and cold froth. Second of all, it has a built-in flow meter and uses 19 bars of pressurized steam to brew the coffee. This results in richly extracted coffee with a nice layer of crema on the top, just like the cafes. Each coffee capsule contains the exact quantity of coffee grounds for one serving. The milk-based beverages like cappuccino or latte brewed with the Latiso machine are ideal for immediate consumption. These beverages are not piping hot and should be consumed within minutes. Most importantly, in any coffee machine, the thing that matters the most is the brewing quality. As you could see, wish you could 
taste. The machine can brew a really good espresso. The entire room is filled with a nice aroma. The machine is compatible with Nespresso and Coffeeza capsules. I have three coffee blends from Coffeeza right here, Intenso, Classico and Takeoff. Now coming down to the price of Coffeeza Latissimo machine, it is priced around 18,000 rupees, which can be a bit expensive for some, but this is for those who can afford coffee from a cafe every single day. Someone who drinks more than two to three cups a day from CCD or Starbucks or any other good cafe. So if you have this kind of budget, then definitely you can give it a try. Now, all the links are down below for in the description and you can check it out from there. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. By the way, how do you make your coffee or tea? There are tons of way of making one. Let me know in the comments down below and we will chat there. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.